How many deaths a year are there from medical mistakes in hospitals? Recent study in the British Medical Journal, 2016, calculated the number of deaths from accidents, from medical mistakes, only in hospitals, and they totaled up to 251,000 deaths per year. This is quite a lot. This would be the third biggest death rate in the country, you know, after only heart attacks and cancer. However, the study only looked at medical mistake deaths in hospitals. Many deaths are a result of using medication in a FDA approved manner. Also, the study did not look at any of the deaths from medical mistakes or other drug problems in outpatient clinics, in old age homes, or anywhere else. So it is quite possible that the deaths per year from medical mistakes could be larger than 251,000 deaths per year. And this is a disgraceful number of deaths per year. How can someone minimize their chance of being part of a medical mistake? Stay out of the hospital. Be so healthy that they don't want you there. And of course, the best way to do that is with a carefully thought out whole plant diet and perhaps a few supplements, like we mentioned vitamin B12 and vitamin D, these help along the way too. It's interesting because we met a wonderful man a few years ago. He was about 53, maybe younger, and a surfer and an avid runner. Great looking guy, incredible athlete. I mean, from the looks of him, you couldn't get any healthier than that. Well, a month later, we learned he had died of a heart attack. Wow. So it's not always what people look like. All the fitness in the world can't overcome the clogged arteries. So what we need to do to stay out of the hospital is keep our arteries fresh and clean and young. And the only way you can do that, the only way to reverse the problems, as far as I have found, is a plant-based diet. Yeah, Prevent and Reverse Disease by Caldwell Esselstyn is a great book for seeing examples of people who have reversed the arterial clogging, especially in heart arteries. and. Uh, you can get the book and learn how to do it yourself. I also have a book called uh, <laughs> No More Heart Attacks. <laughs> you have so many books, honey. And it's... that one um, See. describes the same idea as Caldwell Esselstyn and how to reverse the clogging of the arteries and stop it from happening. Arthritis is at 70 million people in the U.S. Is it reversible? And if so, how? <laughs> well, it's not exactly reversible, the cartilage loss is once the cartilage is lost in between the joints, it can't really be regrown. However, the pain and inflammation can be eased dramatically by anti-inflammatory, well, medical plants like Boswellia and um, turmeric are two of the best ones. It's just new research is coming out with uh, purple passion fruit peels seem to be really effective at re reducing this too. And there are many ways to reduce the pain and inflammation in arthritis. And I did teach a university class in arthritis. And, and people, what happened? Tell people, people would be coming in on walkers and wheelchairs and canes. And uh, Arthritis Relief is the book. You can also find that on my website. Inexpensive download. I want people to get this information. When people would come in, at the first class, I'd say, I'd describe arachidonic acid and its role it comes mostly from turkey, chicken, and eggs, although other animal fat also contains large amounts of it. So I would ask for volunteers in the first class, no more turkey, chicken, and eggs until our next class next week. That's one week. Okay. And I always get volunteers. These people are desperate. They're in pain. A lot of motivation there. And the next week, I'd say, what happened? And they'd say things like, I'm walking twice as far. I'm sleeping through the night without I'm pain. Swimming. I'm taking half the number of pain medications I used to take. And the reason is simple. What do the pain medications do? They block arachidonic acid from forming inflammatory leukotrienes and painful prostaglandins. Well, why eat the arachidonic acid that makes these conditions and then try and negate that with drugs that have side effects? Why not just cut that back? So that's one of the easy ways to really cut back on the pain. Now, uh, beans have phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylinositol, and the other phospholipids that form the, the synaptic fluid that is the lubricator of our knees and other joints. That also can really ease arthritis. In my book, I have many different ways that are not drug-based, that are healthy and safe, and clinically proven 
for you to reverse the inflammation and pain and arthritis and make a good comeback. Also ways to not lose any more cartilage. We wanna protect the cartilage that's there. Some people get hyaluronic acid shots uh, to support with that. Do you, are you a believer in that? Well, I have seen the research on hyaluronic acid shots and the positive thing about it is that hyaluronic acid shots actually improve the cartilage that you have and make it tougher and more resistant and less brittle to break away. So it actually helps with the progression. And I believe this is in contrast to all other medical approaches. However, I've also been told by people that the shots are very painful. And of course, the same effect can be gotten by using other means. We had one patient who we saw every month for two years. And when we first saw her, among other things, she kept saying, my knees, my knees hurt so much. She's in that a wheelchair. Was, that was mostly what she had to talk about. And then over the course of two years, every month or two, we would help her up level her eating habits from, well, she started off eating always at junk food restaurants, you know, the cheapest place Fast she food. could go. Fast food. <laughs> Junk. Same thing. Sorry. <laughs> Fast food restaurants. And over time, she started making food at home with her family. And well, after about six months, she didn't have the wheelchair. She had a walker. Uh, another six months, she had a cane. Another six months, I forget my cane all the time. I leave it everywhere. And she's talking about walking through the biggest mall in the world without her cane because her arthritis had reversed itself. Also, her migraine headaches went away. Well, that's a nice benefit. And her temper tantrums. Yes, yes. Yeah. So there are many things you can do for arthritis, certainly. Can you sum up everything we've talked about here today in 15 seconds? <laughs> sure. Sure. Eat a whole food, plant-based diet. Avoid animal products of any kind. And be sure and supplement with vitamin B12, vitamin D. Make sure your calcium levels are high enough and have a happy, stressful, exercise-prone life. Every day is a gift. A life is a gift. If we appreciate it, and we appreciate that we are given, we have more respect for those around us and perhaps for ourselves. In respecting ourselves, we have the courage to make simpler choices and to be satisfied with things that are less instant gratification, including cabbage or food that takes longer to prepare and isn't so instantly flavorful. In making cho choices that are life enhancing, whatever they be, we're living a richer life, we're a benefit to ourselves and those around us, and we're up leveling our lives and those around us too. We have to love ourselves enough to make the changes. What's the one thing I need to do today? I got one. This is cute. You take a uh, you look a little tired, right? You've had a long day, sir. Um, you take ascorbic acid and baking soda. You know, emergency packets, that kind of a thing. You mix two parts ascorbic acid and one part baking soda, and it makes your own little vitamin C drink. And you drink it, and oh boy, it gets rid of a headache in 10 seconds. It's busy. It gives you your it's energy fun. all comfortable again. And uh, you can do it several times a day whenever you feel off balance. If you were going to do one thing, that's like a, a quick fix, cheap, easy, and uh, it totally works. My one thing would still be the whole food plant diet. Why did you feel it was important to come here and speak at the Real Truth About Health conference? I wanted people to hear about our clinical trial that Catherine and I both ran. And I wanted them to hear that it is, there is hope when you're having memory problems. There's hope when you're having mild cognitive impairment. There's even hope with mild Alzheimer's disease to try and turn this around or at least stop it so you don't get worse. And I wanted to expose people to the safe, natural and clinically researched solutions so that they would feel confident that they could go ahead and try these and see if they could stop this process from getting worse. And sometimes people even get brighter. I think it's important that I came because I'll do anything I can to support this beautiful vision. It's like a miracle what's happening here. 10 days, all free, all the information. Whoa, no one does that. And on top of which it's all right on. It's beautiful, the teaching, the vision, and the enactment. 
we are thankful to all of you who put on so much work and so much expertise to make this happen. So anything I can do to support it, that's why I'm here. Well, oh, we I are grateful for this conference and yes. we're grateful to be part of it and for the ability to help people from a distance now. I want to especially thank Stephen Shore, Brian Clemens and Anna Maria Clemens for putting this together. It's just awesome. It's wonderful. It's the best, the best of the best.